that. Um, Kirilluk. Um, Minister, you're very welcome to house, the House today and I want to congratulate my colleagues, Senator Malcolm Byrne, on bringing this forward, this bill. And I think it is long overdue and when you consider the history of this country, the men in war, women who wore this our uniform, and it is a bill of respect. It is about standing up for democracy. It's been pr about being proud of our soldiers, being proud of our institutions and standing tall alongside our army and alongside all our democratic institutions. And I am deeply sad, saddened that the name of Oglina Heron has been disrespected and dishonoured for decades by terrorist organisations. And we have a proud, proud tradition of defence forces in this country. And we all know there is only one legitimate army. And I think about the proud origins of our soldiers the proud origins of our defence forces and they're in the early beginnings of our, of our state and a, a century ago as Ogley and Heron and I have to remember some loud people who lost their lives and who, who served with great, with great dignity in our army. Sean McGee coming from pre-independence, pre, pre a young officer who was murdered by the Black and Tans. Two years later, James Boyle, who was murdered at a, a member of the National Army, who was killed during an ambush during the Civil War. We honour these men. And also, um, Private Michael McNeila, who lost his young life serving in 1986 in the Lebanon. And it would also be remiss of me not to mention Lieutenant General Sean McGoon, who was, who was born about 200 metres down from my own home house. And he was a, a, an officer who, when entered in the army in 1930 and was commissioned the following year. And it is this proud legacy, it is a proud distinguished service that makes this bill so important. And this bill is a symbol of respect, Minister, but we also need that symbol of respect translated into actions and we have to be, have look more than respect, we need to look after our, all our, our serv serving and, 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 and retired army officers. And when I see the gravestones and the headstones of provisional IRA members using the name of this great country's army on its headstone, abusing and insulting a legitimate army, bastardising and denigrating the name of our army in the same way they do to our flag, it is both upsetting and infuriating. And I would ask a question, and I do welcome the acknowledgement that we only have one army in this country, but I would ask a question that I would, would like to be answered, and we haven't had, I haven't had a clear answer. That they, purport to, they purport to support this bill and say that we have only one army and recognise that. On one side do that, and on the other side don't recognise the state and the, and the constitution and the background to that state. So, Gurra Maigot.